So here's the basic overview of my rainbow blaster here. Just going from front to back, we have this kind of stock here, which I made out of PVC parts. The furniture I made pink because it's obviously not a weapon. I made these slots here without the use of a Dremel or a mill. I just used a drill and um, some sandpaper and other things to get it flat. Completely handmade all of this. Same thing with the catch here. No drill or hole saws were used there. That's completely made by hand using a file and uh, sandpaper and all that. Uh, nylon rod just as your uh, priming mechanism here. For the trigger and handle assembly, this is just a very simple trigger. As you can see, this screw pops uh, down when it uh, engages in the little notch on the rod here. And then by pushing the trigger up, it cams this action upward, which in turn fires a blaster. Barrel seal is not 100%, and you can hear it kind of leaking, but it's not terrible at the same time. Ideally, you want 100%, 99%, as close as you can get to that. Overall, again, this is a K26 spring in here, speed holes drilled on the top, just standard rainbow catch mechanism like there. Overall length is about 28 inches long. Compare that to a rapid strike with the stock extended, it's almost the same, uh, the same length, maybe longer by an inch or something like that. This is the speed loader barrel that I have. The barrels themselves are 16 inches long a piece. And so when you actually mount this onto the blaster, you feel like you're holding like a pilgrim gun or something. It comes out to about 44 uh, inches tall. I'm about five and a half feet. So that gives you an idea of exactly how big this thing actually is when you go to shoulder it. All right, so we're just gonna take a couple shots here. We have a little bit of wind blowing this way. I'm gonna be shooting into the wind here. I'm um, just gonna prime it first, then throw on the speed loader to prevent vacuum loading or loading a dart into the uh, chamber here. I have kind of a level here, so I'm going to take basically fairly level shots if I can manage it. First shot. Going back. pretty good diff distance. Uh, I'm gonna reload this real quick and uh, then we're gonna inspect the distance here. Like so. Okay, let's inspect those. Alright, so all around here they've been grouped. This is seven to eight uh, car parking lengths away. Uh, if you see over there, that's where the blaster was when I uh, fired these things. So it's, I don't know, maybe 75 to 80 feet going into the wind. So it's not too bad overall. I'm very happy with this being my first mod and everything, or first homemade. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I had a lot of fun building this. Definitely going to make more homemades like this in the future. Uh, I had a lot of uh, good experiences with this one. My next one's going to be even better. Thanks for watching, everybody. Nerf up. All right, so now we're indoors. I want to let everybody hear the crazy thwack noise this thing makes when it actually hits something. That is crazy. <laughs>